Hello everyone. Victory, peace, Mary Magdalene, Mother Mary, Holy Grail, unity, togetherness, and that's how it's done. Uh, I just wish to share with you, uh, of course, I have been, we have been just so busy with so many things. And uh, again, if I'm to uh, log everything and write it out, there would just not be enough time in the day to do everything. So having said that, uh, a major thing and a major sign and a major and a major guide in this now time is keeping an eye on the constellation known as i call it cassiopeia and uh some pronounce it cashua cashupia however it, it pronunciation doesn't uh, matter so this constellation is the W that is seen in the northern sky, the northern hemisphere, if you will. And at this most uh, very important time, uh, at least several times since the activation uh, has been done in northern Norway and also uh, taking down um, one of the dense energetic uh, emissions and circles in that area uh, as a result of doing that one of the signs in the skies is a uh, Cassiopeia flipping to become the M and this is seen in the 5d and the higher dimension uh, higher dimensional state of being so this message is uh, to inform all of you in the northern hemisphere uh, of course for those that it resonates with that you can um, use it as a guide in a calculation of where we are at uh, at any given time with the ascension so having said this um, it does flip to the m shape when you're in the higher state the higher vibration and also when reality as a whole has shifted then you will see it inverted to the correct way as the m so having said that uh it's important to watch this uh it is a direct confirmation to be seen uh from this reality that uh we are uh, at the threshold of breaking through uh, to the higher uh, 5D reality, meaning that it is there and it is in place and it's definite and it is confirmed. Again, so it fluctuates. It depends on, on the individual, on your vibration, but also on the collective. Now, when I speak about the collective um, vibration and consciousness that is not the masses upon the planet when i speak of the collective consciousness that is the awakened divine ones that are at least in some recognition of their divine power and their reasons for being upon the planet and uh, unless one as you know has risen uh, to that part in their awakening to know that everything that is occurring is divinely orchestrated in this beautiful time uh, unless they are and also advanced in their physical vessel enough towards the crystalline they will not see these and also you know another reason why they will not see nor experience this yet is because the transformation in the physical eyes also the upgrades has to take place which allows them uh, to see the Merkava ships for example flashing the uh, at least the seven uh, sacred colors seven sacred rays the rainbow colors and of course it depends upon what energetics is uh, being uh, delivered to the planet with uh, the Merkava ships and also it depends on what's happening with the individual when you interact 
with them, what is being worked upon in you. Uh, for example, you may begin to notice the Merkava ships and see red and yellow. You know, see them flashing only these two colors. Well, what you do is uh, you understand that uh, your root energetic chakra, your part of your Merkava, and your sacral is uh, being uh, worked upon between you and also the assistance of the Merkava ship. What does this? So then you can recognize uh, with the energies, at least uh, the prevailing energies with you at that time in conjunction with what the Merkava ship is showing you, to keep that simple. But uh, very importantly, uh, as we uh, continue to proceed forward with the all of the ascension, it's all ascertained and guaranteed as we advance through the levels. So nothing stops this. Uh, everyone is divinely coordinated to the degree that they need to be to be assisting with increasing the energetic values uh, when it's time upon the planet. Um, just like the special um, team that went to Norway to deposit energetic codes uh, to deliver an important crystal. crystal. Uh, that was placed upon the planet and prepared uh, for this time for them to take there. And of course, at the same time, we had uh, Didalus in I Italy uh, on the southern part of, let's say, a huge energetic uh, structure which uh, can be identified as the energetic New Jerusalem as well that is integrating within uh, Terra Gaia, the planet. So once that full energetic inter, inter, uh, integration uh, of uh, the new Jerusalem into the planet, when that occurs, then the planet is in the full 5D uh, liberation from the fourth density and uh, from the remnants of darkness and evil, if you will. Uh, so this is also to inform you the situation is, is always excellent and it's going forward and with each round of uh, each spiral round upward, if you will, with that comes the, the levels of clearing within each of you. So there may even be uh, deep levels that you did not know existed. Uh, that were uh, density and fear related that will come up. And you know, what fear essentially is, it doesn't mean ah, oh, being afraid. It, it's anything negative because that is restrictive uh, and disempowering. So those are fear things. Anything that limits you and, and uh, disempowers you and keeps you stagnant, those are more or less uh, fair and negative narratives. And also this is why, uh, you know, I say uh, to all, don't get caught up in all of the fear narratives out there. Keep your sights on uh, the positivity and your empowerment, knowing who you are, uh, what you're here to do, and that is to change the world uh, with all the others, so. But uh, in the lease, uh, Cassiopeia, it's very important. You can see her dependent upon you. You can see her spin to the M uh, in a very short time or also only at certain times again. So that depends. But also going deeper perhaps for some of you uh, more into the ascension. Uh, also... And when we look at dimensional portals, um, what I wish to say in respect to that, that also this was written for this time as a divine uh, signature to when it turns to the M representing uh, the Messiah, Mother Mary, Mary Magdalene, uh, even Merlin, you know, all of the, the good white purities. Uh, but with that, it's also 
bringing in the Andromedon uh, 14th dimension and beyond aspects, which is very important. So, you know, some of the beliefs is that uh, we descend it down to the third dimension. Now, you know, uh, since 2012, the third dimension no longer exists. Everyone was put in the fourth dimension. The next level up is the fifth, but we're going back up through the dimensional levels. And to do, to do that, the attachment from the 14th Andromedon uh, dimension had to be connected now in real time. And that was done through a, representative, a divine representative of the Andromedon mother as well. So this huge, uh, she had accompanied uh, the divine team as a team to Norway uh, to enter those codes and to be the conduit to energetically do this to assist with the upliftment through the dimensional layers. And of course, you know, what I'm speaking about and what we're doing, not everyone uh, upon the planet is going back to those uh, many multiple uh, dimensional abilities. Man many are are going forward um, to the fifth dimension and with a lot of their memory giving, given back uh, when we reach the fifth dimension, but those that are going forward uh, more of their soul's memory is given back because that's what assists you in transcending uh, the dimensions and more of your prowess. So it's, uh, but the main thing what we're here to do, as everyone knows, is to uh, transition humanity, uh, the other souls that have their experiences to play out in the heaven on earth scenario, still as mostly human, however, acting uh, in the higher heart ways and the positive ways. So those experiences stay intact and it's um, a soul to souls uh, choice, you know, what they have made. But as you go forward, the souls understand the choices that they made and the beauty of this time as well, that soul contracts, if you will, soul contracts, they can be changed in the moment while you are, are consciously awake during your daytime and you know one thing to do that is uh when i put out the affirmation for ones to uh say you're open and ready uh for higher divine service and when you say that out loud it activates uh within you uh opening up more of those channels where you are also connected back uh more to source um uh, the etheric uh, uh, information realm in the least with that identity label I, I put on it. But you know what I mean. Uh, you begin to unlock more of your soul's knowledge. Uh, and of course, uh, all of the souls upon the planet, uh, for the most part, we've existed. Uh, you've existed uh, for all time. And... Uh, because of the multi-dimensional abilities, uh, time is uh, is uh, not constant for us. And upon the planet, you are, for the most part, in linear time, meaning that you are on the time uh, with the masses in the world if your multi-dimensional abilities have not been activated yet. And with that comes purity and virtue. Uh, to activate them to higher degrees. And this is why the inner work needs to be done on an individual level uh, to change all of your negative ways and acts to positive and to purify them with the utmost virtue. And with that, this is the discipline, if you will, uh, of each one's inner work to do to change and eradicate all of those ways that no longer serve and all of those acts because they're not part of the future. So it begins within you to change uh, your way. No longer anger, no longer worry, 
<clears throat> uh, no longer mistrust, no longer uncertainty, no longer doubt. These are all fears. And as you uh, change, change those for the positive, like with absolute trust, uh, certainty of yourself, uh, you integrate your uh, divine good ego, which is your identity, and this empowers you forward, and you begin to unlock much more uh, for yourself as an individual to your empowerment, and uh, you can propel and excel forward very quickly with that. So this is the process, and it's all happening for a reason, of course, the the great awakening, if you will, uh, is not a random thing. It's all by design. But having said that, too, uh, ones need to be very consciously meticulous with what you're looking at and what you're following out there and use your utmost discernment. What is not moving humanity forward and what is not empowering what I need to say is do not give it your energetic focus or attention because you need to remember you're a co-creator. You're becoming more powerful every day and you don't wish to cause stagnation by energizing some false narratives when you have the opposite choice to excel things forward very rapidly by being uh, in alignment with what uh, truly liberates humanity from uh, the savage uh, and enslaving environment. So Cassiopeia is a very uh, good tool to begin to watch now. And uh, with that, any of you that are observing it or, you know, even have uh, distinct photographs, uh, please share them with the rest and uh, you will see this so this is to inform you that this is happening in the skies uh, not only with the uh, cashew cashew or cassiopeia not only with that constellation uh, there are several at depending on what times um, mean what energetically times you're looking at the night sky you'll see four to five uh, cross uh, constellations with the ships as well. There are arcs uh, there. When I say arcs, there's convex and and con. Well, this is convex. The other ones. Uh, well, this is concave and convex, I believe. Anyways, uh, you'll see the the arcs in the formations of the ships. You'll see ships moving. And, you know, it's everyone's individual experience of what you will see and what you need to see at any given time. But uh, the main thing is to eradicate all doubt and uh, know that uh, know that everything is going forward perfectly. It is a process, but the process is speeding up uh, the more that are awakened in alignment uh, to their purpose and their mission and knowing that they're here to create the new world. And you do that by not focusing on the old. We're here to unite and, and create that. And we're all doing, all of you are doing an amazing job for we would not be seeing such confirmations and what you would call perhaps impossible things like uh, Cassiopeia flipping uh, to an M in the night sky, sometimes almost instantly. So there is no doubt with this. And uh, of course, with all of the different representations of the sacred rays through the rainbows, uh, you know, with what you can call uh, halos, uh, rainbow halos around the sun, rainbows, uh, parts of rainbows, uh, the rainbows uh, and seen in the clouds, uh, the Pleiadian ships, uh, what you would call in the past sun dogs, uh, where you have sun spots, uh, rainbow spots, sometimes on both sides of the sun and sometimes in the crossed uh, cross pattern as well so these are all signs of the times and as i put out earlier today it's uh, 
you know, also a seal of the covenant, uh, what Father has, Prime Creator has given a long time ago to Noah. And uh, so it's just uh, many great things. But also what you're seeing uh, with more rainbow activity lately, it, these are the energies that we are working with. Not only I and Femke, there's so many more of us. There's over four million upon the planet uh, that are, even if it's uh, not fully known to them yet, but even unbeknownstly, they are working with these energetic sacred rays. And because of this beautiful time, you're getting this representation of these actual energies affecting the planet worldwide. So uh, you're now seeing more artifacts uh, and confirmations and products from your actual divine work that you are doing. So there is, uh, again, no mistaking it, and uh, you're getting more and more every day uh, profound and the wildest uh, confirmations that's uh, even uh, defying science. But uh, it's beautiful when it does that because then science has to catch up to acclimatize to the new reality and factor in the esoteric and of course, uh, Prime Creator in, in the Ascension. They cannot escape it, for the new science has to fit uh, the new integrated timeline with the Ascension. And uh, these things uh, constantly are under change uh, to acclimatize to the new reality. Okay. Namaste. Kisses, winks, love and light peace and harmony and the holy grail and unity togetherness and we got this done and uh, i'm so grateful to see over the course of uh, almost 10 years i believe at this that uh, we have actually closed the gap of 123 years of this uh, dimensional universe or part of the multiverse uh, we have closed that gap it was 123 years behind uh, now we're only let's say a matter of days or a month uh, behind so but uh, a, a few days or a month is not measured like it is on in uh, mostly linear or human time but we are very close we're on the threshold all the signs confirm it Blah, 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 and I love you. <laughs> love, light, and gratitude, and here's Femka. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Have a good night. Thank you.